G'day folks, Elvin Pyle here from Adventuring Piles. I hope you guys are well. I'm coming at you today from my backyard because I realized when I was making this video out on the field that my intro was just completely rubbish. So I have to remake it. Yeah, this video is going to be a great one, I hope. It's the Tasman Island Cruise from the Pennycott Cruises. And I'll tell you what guys, this is a definitely must-do Tasmanian experience. Not necessarily this particular cruise, but one of the Pennycott Cruises I definitely highly recommend it. They are epic. Hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. Yo, let's go. Welcome to Adventuring Pals. Join our family while we work and explore our way around Australia. We hope you can use our experiences to plan your very own epic adventures. Please subscribe for new videos every week. Good morning all. So next morning here down in Port Arthur. I'm getting ready today to go on that <laughs> Tasman cruise from the, the Pentecott, uh, Pentecott Cruises. Um, tell you what, honestly with you, I'm a bit nervous about it because it's out in the sea and last time I was out of sea I got a bit crook. That was a few years ago. I've been in lots of bays and rivers and I'm alright with that kind of stuff but now get out of sea it's a bit of a different story eh? Anyways we'll just have to suck it and see how it goes. <laughs> So we are here about to board the boat. Wish me luck folks. That is the beastie we'll be cruising on. Get up plenty up and go, that's for sure. Alrighty, here we go. Starting off. I reckon it's gonna be pretty decent weather today, so it should be a good one. I reckon I'll still get sick though, hey? <laughs> Alrighty, just a few bits of information to get us started here, hey? Firstly, we have no affiliation with a cruise company or anything like that. We are purely making this video to share with you guys our experiences so that maybe you guys can get an idea of what it's like on the cruise and make up your mind if you want to do it or not, just like we do with the rest of our videos. Obviously, you can find a lot more up-to-date information on their website, but basically it's a three-hour cruise. It costs $145 per adult, $90 per children between 3 and 16, and kids under 3 is free. Do keep a lookout because we actually got a 10% discount by using our RACQ membership. This particular cruise starts and finishes at Port Arthur and can go between Port Arthur and Eagle Hawk Neck depending on the weather to where they will go. When the waves, the waves get big enough here that they would have rolled in, hit the back of the cave yeah. and gone up and ended up wearing out the roof. Up water, here. Woohoo! Looks like they have videos. Oh, cool. Just come out from the coast a bit and we spotted some whales. It's pretty awesome. But so hopefully Ashton's getting some better photos than I can currently get any footage.
After an amazing encounter with the whales, we headed back towards land. This time we stopped to check out Cape Pillar. These are the highest sea cliffs in all of the Southern Hemisphere at 300 meters tall. This sea stack is known as the totem pole, and believe it or not, some crazy people climb it. It involves actually jumping from the main cliff, swinging over to it, and then climbing to the top. This structure on Tasman Island is known as the haulage way, and this is how they got all the materials to the top to build and maintain their lighthouse. Hanging out on the rocks below, we found some seals. The smaller ones we see are the long-nosed fur seal, formerly thought to be the New Zealand fur seal, but recently they've been discovered to be a different species. The larger ones are the male Australian fur seal. Apparently the males like to hang around down here and the females usually hang around in the northern waters and once a year they get together off the coast of Victoria to do what they do best. Just getting off the boat and I'm glad to say I did not have a chuck while we were on the boat. <laughs> it was awesome. At one stage there we felt like we were going through the washing machine. It was friggin' really awesome, hey. Really, really awesome. We'll talk about it a bit more when we get up and uh, settled in. Okay guys, I'm going to interrupt my swim and I'm going to go around and ask everybody how like how they like the cruise and what was their favourite bit. We'll start off with Eshlin, eh? Right, hey baby. What was your favourite bit? I liked, I oh, absolutely love seeing the whales. Uh, the boats go, well they oh. don't go close but oh, this. They, oh. the way they have it is the, oh, the whales come really yeah. close to them oh, and because it's all open air you can, it's like just as if you can touch them. They're so close. That was cool. Uh, the other favourite bit was the exhilarating boat ride. It was very action packed. Um, especially when you come really close to the sea cliffs and there's a lot of sea cliffs down this way. So pretty much most of the ride was going, hugging the, co the rugged coastline and getting as close as you could as possible that was awesome like i don't think you'd be able to experience that in many other places than here go ahead. I, I, I just put it in the water and then go and the water go and this and then i go what was your favorite part um 
Well, see you. Get banana. Yeah. And people are chasing. Ah, dragon bird. Okay, well, he got a bit distracted. All right, we'll go continue on and see what Ashland's parents liked. All right, Dad, what did you like about the cruise? Oh, man, you came all the way from Harvey Bay to do whale watching here. <laughs> it was awesome. The whale watching was the sort of the by product. But the main part was the sheer rock cliffs and the caves and the boat going up and close into the caves and you know on the rough uh, two two and a half three meter swell coming in the boat driving past full speed and um, between the rock uh, outcrops and the sheer cliffs and yeah the the thrill of uh, adrenaline going through uh, the skipper was just so experienced in these waters and it was right from what they call eagle bay right up to here pulling into Port Arthur. It was awesome ride. You know, for three hours, um, just over hundred bucks each. It's, it's perfect. Can't Thumbs get up. Any, can't get any better than this. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right, Mum, what was your favorite part? How did you like it? Uh, it was good. It was sort of an extreme uh, adventure for me. I never thought I was going to make it, but I made it. <laughs> and uh, uh, it was also a fitness uh, test for me. So I think, you know, after that trip, I'm feeling much better. Okay, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for you and Ashley. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Well, guys, my favorite part of the whole trip was the fact that I didn't throw up everywhere. I don't know if it was the ginger tablets they gave me or my sheer will not to spew up. But anyways, it worked. It was an awesome trip. I really like the whales because like even like everywhere we go in Australia we see a lot of whales from from the cliffs and stuff but to be on the water level with them it is just something else like the sheer size of them is amazing for watching you know, a little baby come up and play and it's doing his tail slaps and everything like that and then we saw the big mama come up and wow he was a big one anyways the whole day has been awesome it was a little bit rough for me but I managed there all right it was only rough when we coming past Tasman Island but yeah, she was like being in a washing machine, hey. But nonetheless, it was good fun. We did all right. The kids had a good time, I think. They loved it. And they did a lot better than I thought they would. I thought three hours on a boat like that might be a bit too much for them, but not at all. There's so much to look at. You know, every, you just sort of go and you stop and you look at something, then you go a little bit more and you look at something else. Hey. It really made the whole trip go really quick. The skippers on board were awesome. They really know what they're doing there. They made that boat do some things that I would not even imagine to do. But anyways, guys, we really loved it. I hope you guys liked the video. I just wanted to give you a little taste of what it's like out there so that hopefully you guys can get uh, an idea of what it's like so you can do it too. I think I would highly recommend this to everybody. Hey, it is awesome. It's probably one of my favorite experiences I've done in Tassie so far, but keep that on the quiet, hey? All right, guys, catch you guys in the next one. Woo! Thank you for spending your precious time watching our video. We are a family with two young kids and we have been working and traveling our way around Australia since March 2019. We share with you our trip so you can see that it's very possible to travel with young kids. We also share with you some tips that we've learned along the way, making traveling with kids a little bit easier. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel for future videos we upload every week. Thank you very much.